Okay, hello. Today we're going to go over how to, um, how to compare two nucleotide sequences on a gene, of a gene, of two different organisms, to compare their similarity and, um, in genetics. So, we're going to go to ncbi.nlm.nih, nih.gov, Dash P U B M E D dash. Okay. So after you get here, now you're here to the left of the search box, you select gene. After selecting gene, um, so we're going to check out the COX gene, the cytochrome, cytochrome oxidase 1 gene. And um, so that's going to be COX1. Followed by that gene, you type in the genera, which is the genus of the species. So whatever the genus of the species is, you type it along with it. So let's say it's a dog. Um, so the genus of a dog is Canis. So you'll type in C-A-N-I-S. And then just click search. And there you go. Okay, so now it's going to pull up a window with a bunch of facts and a bunch of different things. So now you choose what type of canis do you want. Do you want the dog, the Tibetan wolf, the coyote, the Mongolian wolf, the golden wolf? Let's go with dog, because we all love dogs. So now you select COX1, the little link on the left underneath name, gene, ID. Okay. So now you go to the right. Um, under context, select genomic regions, transcripts, and products. Once you're here, you select FASTA, F-A-S-T-A, under nucleotide, underneath the, the title bar. After you select FASTA, copy this code. Since we're only comparing two organisms, even though the book compares nine, for us, comparing two organisms is enough for an assignment, enough for a lab, and all that stuff. So um, you're going to copy that, copy that code. The code is um, the first two letters, NC, underscore, and I believe it's six characters, six numbers, and then dot or decimal point, another number. That's, the, that, that's that organism's code in this database. So now you've copied that code, and you, you can look up another organism to compare. So we're going to go to gene, and then we're going to type in COX1, because that's the gene we're, we're, we're coding for, we're um, aligning. And... Um, we're gonna type in another genera. Let's go Felis. Cats. Cats and dogs. A little stereotypical. Search. So here we go. Now what you're gonna do, um, let's say we go domesticated cat. We're gonna do domesticated dog, domesticated cat. So you select name, gene ID, just click COX1. Make sure it says COX1, because sometimes it would give you other options. Like you saw there, HHA. That's a different gene. And you don't want to compare two different genes because they won't be the same. So now you're going to click Genomic Regions, Transcripts, and Products. Click FASTA. After you get here, you don't have to copy the code because once you click Run Blast, which is underneath Analyze the Sequence, it automatically puts a code into the um, sequence, the number sequence. So now we're going to click Align Two More Sequences. After you do this, just paste the code you copied. Somewhat similar. Now we're going to blast it. Now this shouldn't take that long. Um, it didn't take long at all. So now, so these are them aligned. And this tells you the similarity. 81% similarity between cats and dogs. Cool, right? That's all you had to do. Um, so this, this breaks it down into different ranges. But here you go, 81% similarity. Yep. Maybe there's some other um, way to break it up. Because they usually are really cool with this stuff. Yeah. Um, pretty cool. So that's how you do that. And just screenshot this. Um, take a like, screenshot this. Ooh. Yeah, screenshot it and um, send it to your teacher. And that's a really cool lab grade. Um,
pretty killer. A lot of fun. You can choose different genera, genus, genuses, genera. I don't know. Um, you have sus, which is pigs. S U S, which are, which are pigs. Um, you have equus, which is horses and donkeys. Really? You have homo, which are humans and whatnot. So um, just choose whatever genuses you want. Pan, which is chimpanzees. And uh, whatever you want, and that's how you do that. So, good show. Bye. Good luck.